Okay, this is probably going to be the first of maybe, I don't know, I think four videos I'm probably going to do in the next hour or so. Uh, these are just going to be some quick tutorials on Rubik's type puzzles. Um, I think, actually, three of them are going to be about Rubik's, and one of them is actually not even a twisty puzzle. It's not a puzzle at all. But it's something I did earlier, and I thought I'd just share some basic information on how to do it. Um, so here's the first one. Um, not many people will have this puzzle, but it's a quick tutorial. It's a solution I made up myself. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy. All right, this is the Rubik's clock. I'm gonna try to explain this my best while keeping it in frame. Um, first off, there's four dials, one at each of the corner clocks, and four buttons, which can be pressed both ways. Okay, for the first step, is what we're going to do is we're going to look at the center clock on one side. Okay, first of all, I'm going to walk by this. The goal is to make them all pointing 12 o'clock on both sides. Okay, so first step, I'm going to push all of the dots up. Okay, I'm going to push two down that are next to each other on a side where a clock, or like the side where a clock needs to match the center clock. Then we turn it with the opposite dial, either top or bottom, I prefer top, so I can keep my, keep my hands on the puzzle. And then we turn it until the two centers right here match. Then you push up those two and down the other side and repeat it with this uh, the one that the side with the up buttons, you're gonna turn those dials up until the row matches. You're gonna get a good shot of that. They're all pointing at the same number. They all match. You're gonna push them all up again, all the buttons up. Then you can do the two down. You're gonna use the top dials to match up these three with this one down here. So now these three match with the center. There's one uh, edge left. So then you push all the buttons up again, then the two next to the one that you want to rotate around. Now the two up buttons are down here, so we're going to turn these, and then it's just going to take one click in this case, to match up all of them. So all the dials in the centers, or all the edges, the cross, are pointing the same way. Now I'm going to push them all, all the buttons up, then I'm going to turn any of the dials and put this to 12. In this case, that was only one click again. Okay, that's good. Now we can push all the buttons down and turn the puzzle over. Now what you do is you repeat the exact same process. So I'm going to kind of go over it again a little bit quicker. Okay, well, we're going to match this dial up first with this dial. It doesn't really matter which one you start with. So I'm going to push these two down. Then these two buttons are up right here. It's harder to see. Is it not in real life? Uh, I think I got it. We're gonna turn it until those match. Okay. Then you can push these two buttons back up. Okay. So I'm gonna push the opposite side down. We're gonna do the same thing and match up. Okay. I overdid it. Okay. All buttons up again. And we're gonna match the bottom one. So we're gonna push these two down and rotate. Then we're going to do the last one. Now if you did it right, okay in this case don't, these ones don't have to be pointing out to 12 yet, but they can. If you did it right, both of the centers should all be pointing, like all the crosses, both crosses should be all uniform. Okay? Last step is the corners which can be moved like, individually. Okay, first you push all the buttons up and then you find a corner that you want to switch. In this case, this one is not correct. In fact, none of them are. That's good for us. More learning. So we're going to have them all up and we're going to push that button down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take any of the other three corner dials and twist it until the, uh, the cross clocks match the corner clock that you want to match. Okay, 
Then you push the button back up. Then you repeat that for the remaining four corners, or remaining three corners. Then you have all of them matched up, you push all the buttons up, and point it to 12. And then you should have a solved Rubik's clock.